And then, oh my goodness, God forbid you should get through to him. What are you going to say now? Here we go. So this is something, I, I didn't change the slides for this. So you remind them where you've met. You bring some small talk into the conversation. What did you think of the event? How was your weekend? Let's say their daughter was getting engaged or something. And then you bring the aha moment in. Do you remember last week when we were talking, you said, I'm phoning today to see if we can get together. I don't use the word meeting, I use the word get together. It's still semi-social. For those of you who are still awake, there is a mistake on this slide. Can you observe it? There is a duplicate. That and that. Let's deal with each one. So the, be the greens are positives. No, they're not. Forget the colours. The, uh, this is the most positive one. Yes, let's get our diaries out. Can you all manage that one? Good. The next one, positive, which should be in a green, I must change this. It's not me that deals with that, it's Mary. I see that as a positive. And what I want you to say there is, oh great, and this is called the ambush approach. How about the three of us get together, Peter? Do you like that? How about the three of us get together? Then you'll know if they're serious. The third one is, let's talk about it now. You need to be ready for that one, everybody, because if it's not your area of expertise, you can be very embarrassed. So you might need, in your preparation and planning, to hand over the phone to the more senior person who knows more about it than you. The fourth one might be, send me some information. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are going to do three and you are going to do number four, please, if they won't see you, pretend that you're sitting across the table from them and that you're having a meeting. So whatever questions you're going to ask in the meeting, ask on the phone. And sometimes, if it's too far away, you, you've got to have that virtual coffee anyway. At the end of that and that, say, look, can I send you a small proposal? And don't forget this. I'll send it to you in the next two or three days. Remember to over-promise and over-deliver uh, over and under-promise. And say to them, is it okay if I contact you again at the end of the week to see what you think? Back to the asking permission. They nearly always say yes. We're now getting down to the negatives. They might say to you, look, we're really busy at the moment. It's our busy season coming up. Fine. Say, OK, when does your busy season finish? Oh, round about the end of September. Is it OK if I give you a ring in the middle of October? And let's see whether, there's any, whether we can meet then. They normally say yes. You put the phone down and you do two things in the next two minutes. Number one, put it in your diary. And number two, send them an email. Dear Peter Prospect, thank you for taking my call just now. I'm delighted you're going to be busy till the end of October. As we agreed, I'll call you at, in October. Ladies and gentlemen, as it says there, the worst that's ever going to happen is they're going to say, we'll call you. Now, can I ask you a serious question? If they say, we'll call you, do any of you need psychiatric help <laughs> because you've been rejected? Or can you cope with that? Because, ladies and gentlemen, by making that phone call, the worst that's going to happen is we'll call you. Have you got it? And do you know when people say no in business, do you know what no means in business? Next one. Sorry? Next one. Next. Yeah, next one. Or not yet. One of the biggest jobs I got when somebody said no to me. 
It was a bank. I phoned him up six months later. I said, Stephen, do you remember me? He was head of learning and development. He said, oh, Wilkins, he says, I'm glad you've called. He said, perhaps we ought to have a meeting. And when I met him, I said, why is it you said no six months ago and you said yes now? Learn this from Miss Stephen. He said, well, Will, things change. <laughs> and they do, don't they? People change, budgets change, priorities change. So don't give up. If you believe that your product and service will add value to them, don't give up.